Hi guys, my name is Elena Semenek and this is my YouTube channel Psychology of Happiness. Today I would like to talk to you about victim's mentality and inability to say no, inability to protect your interests, your opinion and to speak up about your wishes and desires. Why? Why is it so difficult? Difficult? Often people do not connect two things, the victim mentality and inability to say no. What do you mean by that? One of the common reasons why people develop victim behavior and uh, cannot create healthy boundaries, cannot say no, is when uh, they were raised in a childhood where they did not receive enough love, care and support. My parents were strange back then. Mom was a hippie. My parents didn't speak to one another for a year before I was born. So if your parent or parents did not support you, maybe your father was absent, maybe your mom was depressed, maybe your parent, uh, one of them or both were alcoholics and it means that they were emotionally unavailable. My parents were such drunkaholic messes. Sometimes people can live in a family that looks perfect outside but inside uh, there is no emotional connection. My father never told me that. He loved me. It's more about uh, creating an image for others, but inside the family there is no close connection. Or do you mean a perfect family? Where no one's ever sick, or angry, or sad, or in pain? So emotionally unavailable parent, it means that the parent emotionally was not there for the child. Maybe physically parents were next to you and they never divorced, they, you know, nobody died but emotionally they were not available oh well well it's america's perfect family uh also emotionally unavailable parents are parents who are working a lot like workaholics uh, parents or maybe you were raised in a family where you have several kids and your mom physically was not able you know to attend everybody's needs because she was too busy you know trying to feed you and to take care of the house it's just that your dad works so hard and sometimes he's not always there. If this is the case, then often a person develops a victim mentality. Look, I may be a lot of things, but I'm not a victim. Not in that way, I'm not somebody else's victim. As a result, uh, you might have a hard time to say no. As a result, you cannot create healthy boundaries. People don't really respect your time, your effort. Uh, you have friends who think that it's okay to ask you for help, but when you need help, first of all, it's very hard for you to ask for help. And second of all, when you do ask, they are always busy or for some reason they cannot help you. I'm sorry, kid, I can't help you there, excuse me. Another example is when you have kids and they don't listen to you. So they are ignoring your opinion, they are ignoring your rules. I don't have to listen to you. Yes, you do. They believe that if you are their mother or their father, then you are supposed to make them happy, you are supposed to help them, you are supposed to feed them. But it does not mean that you don't deserve thank you. It does not mean that they uh, have to demand those things from you without appreciation. So if you are struggling with something like that, I can I encourage you to think about maybe it's time for you to stop this behavior, maybe it's time for you to work on your inner child and maybe it's time for you to build up your self-confidence and self-esteem and learn how to create healthy boundaries. How can I do that? Is it even possible? Sure. If you are ready to start your healing journal, please consider signing up to my private sessions. I also offer group sessions and I offer art therapy and I offer online courses. One of them is Healing Your Inner Child. This is a very, very um, profound and deep course that will help you to work on your issues. So if this video was helpful for you, if you learned something new, please give me a like, subscribe and share. Every time when you click like, every time when you write your comment or when you send my video to other people, it really, really helps me and my YouTube channel. So I am looking forward to your questions uh, and uh, see you next time. Bye.